हेलो फ्रेंड्स नाउ दिस इज द थर्ड पार्ट ऑफ रिव्यू सीरीज ऑफ गैस्ट्रो इसोफेजियल रिफ्लेक्स डिजीज सो इन द लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव डेल्ट अबाउट द ट्रीटमेंट व्हिच इंक्लूडेड जनरल मेजर्स मेडिकल मेजर्स एंड एंडोल्यूमिनल थेरेपीज नाउ लेट अस लर्न अबाउट द सर्जरीज व्हिच कैन बी डन फॉर गैस्ट्रो इसोफेजियल रिफ्लेक्स डिजीज देयर आर मेनी सर्जरीज सो let us learn each and every surgery briefly so the first surgery which is done is fundoplications so among them the first one is nissen's fundoplication so in nissen's fundoplication what do we do so this is the esophagus and this is the stomach this is the diaphragm this is what is normally present so if you see if you have do a cut section at this end this is the esophagus and this is the stomach right those so these are the cross section at this point so now in nissen's fund application we take the funders and we will wrap this around the stomach so if this is my sorry wrapped around the esophagus so if this is my esophagus and this is my funders what i do is i will just take this stomach mobile take this funders mobilize the funders and then wrap this fundus this uh, anterior part of the fundus is wrapped anteriorly and posterior part is wrapped posteriorly and here it is sutured here so you will see it like this right so this is what happens in nissen's fund application we will mobilize the fundus and then we will suture it we will wrap the esophagus around Uh, the esophagus we will wrap the fundus we will wrap the fundus around the esophagus and then we will suture it thus uh, result thus there is 360 degrees wrapping so if you do a cross section at this stage then you see the esophagus and this fundus which is present separately it is wrapped around the esophagus 360 degrees right so this is the major surgery which you do which is nissen's fund application so what are the side effects which you see side effects are over competent cardia because the esophagus is wrapped sorry the fundus is wrapped around the esophagus in 360 degrees so the cardia which is present uh, so this cardia that is the uh, upper part of the stomach that becomes highly competent highly contracted which causes gas blot syndrome that is in this syndrome even the gas which is present in the stomach that cannot enter the esophagus so it becomes that competent that even the gas cannot enter the esophagus thus resulting in accumulation of more and more gas in the stomach which is called as gas blot syndrome so this gas blot syndrome which is seen in nissen's fund application as a complication will never ever resolve but other complications like dysphagia and hemorrhage which are seen after the operation will resolve eventually so next let us go to the next operation which is next surgery which is floppy nissen's fund application it is similar to nissen's this is the normal stomach is uh, this is the esophagus which is the blue one and the red one is the stomach so here the fundus is wrapped around the esophagus but here the major difference is there it, if this is the stomach this is wrapped so tightly in nissen's fund application in floppy nissen's fund application we will wrap so loosely right it is wrapped loosely so if you see it is wrapped loosely so there is some gap between the esophagus and the stomach that is fundus wrapped segment so this gap will allow the esophagus to relax thus resulting in escape of gas from the stomach into the esophagus only gas so this relieves gas blot syndrome so this is called as floppy nissen's fund application i think you have got the difference there is no gap between the esophagus and the fundus part in nissen's fund application but right now in this surgery we have a gas gap between the esophagus and the stomach part now coming to the next surgery which is taupet's fund application so what is the difference here 
um, what is Taupet fund application? Even here, the fundus is mobilized and it is wrapped under the esophagus, around the esophagus. But here, the wrapping is only 180 degrees, and that wrapping is also to the posterior side. So there is posterior wrapping of this. Uh, fundus around the esophagus that is Taupet's fund application. Then there is another fund application which is VAT sense fund application. In VAT sense fund application, there is only anterolateral wrapping, even that is to 120 degrees anterolateral wrapping around the esophagus, which is VAT sense fund application. Next, the dors anterior fundoplication. So here, the esophagus is, uh, the fundus of the stomach is wrapped around the esophagus only anteriorly. So that is dors anterior fundoplication. Now there are other surgeries other than fundoplication. Let us discuss about them. One of it is Hill's operation. In Hill's operation, this is esophagus, this is stomach, the gastroesophageal junction which is present, it is fixed to the aortic fascia, pre aortic fascia which is behind, posteriorly. Posterior to the esophagus, we have aorta and between the esophagus and aorta, there is pre aortic fascia. So, this esophagus is sutured or fixed to the pre aortic fascia. This is called as Hill's operation. Because of fixing esophagus to the pre aortic fascia, the esophagus becomes competent. Thus resulting in decreased um, that the decrease uh, decreased reflux of stomach. Ref reflux of contents. Now coming to the next operation which is boremia operation. In boremia operation, the gastroesophageal junction is fixed to the anterior abdominal wall. It is fixed to the anterior abdominal wall. This is boremia operation. Now coming to the next operation which is Belsley Mark IV operation. This is majorly done if the intra-abdominal esophagus length is very small. In this what do we do? We should push the esophagus downwards into the abdomen. We should push the thoracic part of esophagus downwards into the abdomen and then we plicate the esophagus here like this. So whenever we plicate or if we suture the esophagus to the diaphragm, this results in keeping the length of intra-abdominal esophagus uh, to increase. So this is called as Belsley Mark IV operation where we push the uh, esophagus downwards and we plicate it to the diaphragm with sutures. So this is Belsley Mark IV operation. The next surgery is Coley's vertical gastroplasty. In this, if this is the stomach, fundus and the esophagus, we will cut it here like this which is we we do. Vertically we give an incision and then we suture it separately. So thus the intra-abdominal part of the esophagus length is increased. So this is Coley's vertical gastroplasty. Now coming to the final surgery. Whenever there is dysplasia or metaplasia, we generally do gast esophagogastrectomy. That part of the esophagus or the stomach which has undergone metaplasia is resected. The final surgery is Thal's patch procedure. This is done for stricture. If this is the stricture, this stricture is removed and the fundus is mobilized there and this is attached to each other. So this is mainly done for strictures which is Thal's patch procedure. And now, now, what are the principles of all these surgeries? We have learned nearly 8 plus 5, nearly 13 different surgeries. So, what are the main principles which are involved in these 13 surgeries? Number 1, the lower esophageal sphincter pressure is restored to 2 times the resting gastric pressure. So, this prevents the contents to enter from the stomach into the esophagus because whenever the pressure of the lower esophageal sphincter is more than the gastric pressure, then obviously it can't, uh, the food or the contents of the stomach cannot uh, pass reflexly backward.
Number two, adequate length of intra-abdominal esophagus should be maintained. Number three, whenever there is a hiatus hernia, that should be repaired. Number four, opposition of diaphragmatic crure should always be done. So this ends the topic of gastroesophageal reflux disease. I really went very fast. I know that uh, if you want a slow video, you can uh, watch the... Um, Normal videos which are uploaded or which will be uploaded, I really don't know. Uh, so, thank you guys for watching my video. If you want some changes in my teaching, you can uh, uh, comment in the comment section. And I hope you really like this video. Uh, because this is a review lecture which is uh, for shorter time. Thank you guys. Thank you very much.